Welcome to the 10th video in the series MVMED Unfolded, a complete guide to the MVMED software. In the last video, we explained the basics of the Albero program. In this video, we will create and modify our own plant and root structure. We will begin with Albero opened and our project selected. Albero offers several different ways of creating a new plant. The first way is by making a user copy of an existing plant. For that, simply select the plan from the list on the left and click the button Copy to user database. This process is the same as the procedure we used in the database manager and is the recommended way of creating a new modified user plant. The next method of creating a new plant would be to select our user database and click Add Rotation Plant. By clicking this, a new window appears where we can edit the height and width of our plant and root area. We can also determine the LAD of the grid cells we will place inside of the grid. Be sure to click Update Workspace after changing any of this data. After we have our parameters in place, we can begin designing our plan structure. The way this design system works is that the cells we place in the grid represent a radial slice of the plan structure. This slice will then be rotated around the central z-axis to create the rotational body which will be the structure of our plant. For example, if we make a simple triangle of grid cells and then select Create Plant, we can see that Albero creates a conical plant structure from our 2D triangular slice. The last method of creating a new plant is by selecting our user database and clicking on the button Add Empty Plant. By doing this, we receive the same adjustable parameters as with the rotational plant. However, we must manually place each grid cell within the plant model area. For this video, we will simply use the first method and modify an existing 3D plant. Once we have our user copy, we are free to modify every aspect and parameter regarding the plant and root structure. Let's start by adding a few new grid cells for our plant. We can simply left click on any grid cell in any of the 2D viewpoint displays to add a grid cell of leaf structure. We can also delete grid cells by right clicking. After we have added or subtracted the grid cells from our plant, we can adjust any of the parameter values on the right side of the screen. For the sake of simplicity, we will leave these values as they are and instead focus on modifying our root data by clicking on Edit Physical Properties and then clicking on Edit Root Zone. With the Plant Properties window open, we can see all of the parameters regarding the root structure of our plant. In the top of the window, we can define maximum root depth as well as maximum root diameter. If we change these values, we need to remember to click the green arrow here to update the dataset. Along the left side of the screen, we can see the distribution of root density at varying depths. These values are proportional to each other, meaning that their relative ratios matter and not their absolute sizes. As it is currently seen, each density value by default has a value of 0.1 or 10% for all 10 layers, making the density uniform across all levels. If you edit these values and would like to return them to an equal and uniform state, simply click the button Set Linear Profile to return all levels to the default state. Always remember to click the green arrow after editing any of the values in this window. In the center of the screen, we can see the horizontal extent of the roots at each depth level. Beyond editing each individual layer, we can also choose a root profile at the bottom center of the window. Simply choose a profile and click the button here to apply it. EnvyMed includes 5 default root profiles, but we can also create our own profile by adjusting the length of each layer and renaming the profile to a name of our choosing. Then we can simply click the Add button and our profile is added to the list of available root profiles. We can also modify and delete profiles by using the respective buttons here. The right side of the screen contains important explanations for the root editing window. Once we have edited the values that we want, we can click OK and our new plant is now complete. Now that we know how to create our own custom 3D plans in MVMED, stay tuned for the next video, where we will explain the plan tools feature.